Welcome back. Uh, wrapping up What's Up Stratford is joining me. It's my honor to have Andrea Page from the Stratford Hospital Foundation. Thank you, Andrea, for joining me. Thank you for having me. I think a lot of people are confused because uh, there's a uh, hospitals connected to both St. Mary's, Clinton, and Seaforth. However, if I'm not mistaken, are there different foundations for each of the hospitals? Yes, there's a separate foundation for each of the hospitals focused on raising the essential funds for equipment, technology, and programs for each individual hospital. So funds raised stay in Stratford is what you're saying? That's correct, but they have an impact uh, far further than that. Yes, absolutely. The catch basin is awesome. So the other thing too is hospitals, are they ever given money for equipment or is that the purpose of the foundation? Uh, generally, it's community support that drives all the equipment within a hospital and gives the uh, staff, the physicians, the tools to do their job. That's done by the community itself or the operating funds to operate the hospital, to keep the lights on and to pay the wages. That comes from the Ministry of Health. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's good to keep lights on and air conditioning in August. Andrea, you have this campaign in our hands. It's a $30 million capital campaign. Where are you at? And tell us a few of the highlights. Well, we launched it a couple of months ago with Dr. Roberta Bondar. In fact, we did a 10 second countdown with 150 friends and donors there. We are at 72% of our goal. And uh, that is, you know, absolutely fantastic. Just about $22 million. That's from about 6,000 donors, but there've been some tremendous large donors like the city of Stratford for 5 million. You've got the volunteers at Stratford General for a million and some tremendous other donors who have really stepped up to the plate to get us to the point we are now. So why do you think Stratford and area is so community driven and generous that way? Well, they know that when you give a donation to our foundation, it goes directly to the hospital and we spend it almost immediately. Um, we have raised 72% of goal and we've spent almost all of that already in regards to we bought the new CT scanner, the new 3D mammography unit, new beds, new uh, isolates and in infant incubators, you name it. You give us the money, we spend it so you can see the impact on patient care right away. If someone says, I really want to buy a piece of equipment in my name, say for $50,000, could they actually designate it to a piece of equipment? Yes, they can directly designate to a piece of equipment. And if we get 100% of the cost of equipment, uh, the moment we get that donation, we fill out the purchase order and get the hospital to order it. And it is here in short order. Um, people can also name different spaces. We are going to be building a completely new chemo unit, a new co-located pharmacy and a new lab. So there are a lot of naming opportunities too of some of those spaces. Well, Andrea, I want to first thank you for just the leadership and bringing such a world-class hospital to Stratford and Eric, because it brings back world-class physicians and then incredible, um, that we, incredible health care that we can have in our community. And I know you live a life of generosity. So in closing, would you like to say anything to your donors? Well, you know, when I count my blessings, I count our donors twice because they have such a tremendous impact on our hospital. Um, people hear me tell my story. I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for this hospital and for our donors. So truly, every single piece of equipment that is here when you walk in the doors of our hospital, the tools for our staff and physicians to do their jobs, every piece is here because of our generosity of our donors. And it truly is in our hands. It's in their hands. And that's why we have the campaign named in that honor. It truly is in our hands. And you can see that direct impact when the dollars are given through generosity. Thank you, Andrea, for joining me. Thank you. Please continue to give generously to the Stratford General Hospital Foundation and make a difference in our community. I'm your host, Peter Mirage. Thanks for watching What's Up Stratford and make it a great day.